Thank you so much for being with us right now. Uh, I'm really a pleasure uh, being with you. First of all, uh, uh, thanks for all the organization from Hyperledger Global Forum. It's really, really a bless being with you. And we are, uh, my name is Marco Sarris. I am CEO of GoLedger, a company that specializes on blockchain development. Here with me is uh, Samuel Venzi. He's the CTO of GoLedger. And we are, let me uh, give you a little brief about what we do. We basically a Brazilian software house that works with Hyperledger Fabric for basically five years right now. Basically, that's what, what we do. A little bit of Bezo as well, but mo mostly Hyperledger Fabric that we've been doing this for, for the last five years. And I'd like to give a little bit of explanation. This presentation, this demonstration right now, it's a little, br it's a brief demonstration about what, how we do uh, the deployment of Hyperledger projects in our clients. These are some of our clients. The, for example, Petrobras, biggest Brazilian uh, company, uh, Banco do Brasil, uh, biggest bank of Brazil, uh, Letobras, Brazilian electricity company, Ecotrace, that's basically the, the, the branch of JBS, that's the, uh, the, one of the biggest animal protein traders of the world, and also uh, some, some startups as well. For example, Toon Traders is a startup that do uh, tokenizations of music copyrights. That's something that we do, and basically what we're going to do right now is to show a little bit the usage of our orchestrator uh, and how we do it from development mode to production mode. That's basically some of the tricks. Uh, you know, when we started, very difficult, low, low documentation, so we have to start developing several artifacts for us to make easier, to make easier for us to, to make it happen so we could not spend uh, so much time, especially with new uh, technical team. If you hired someone new, it was very, really necessary for us to make it really faster, uh, to make from the development mode, staging, mo uh, staging mode, validation mode, and to produ production networks. And see, these are just some of the, the, the stage that we need uh, to, to apply when we start developing Hyperledger Fabric chain codes. First of all, that asset data mapping, we have to architecture the data, the, the data of the assets and make it easier. And also, uh, the Go Fabric help, helps uh, building a new chain code. It actually uh, has a kind of chain code engine. So it creates new code, it happens to be uh, customizable among several types of clients with the same, uh, we say the templates, we, say we have several uh, chain code templates to use. Uh, and of course, we do have an EIA, EAAS uh, for orchestration for you to create new nodes, new peers, new orders, remove peers and stuff like that, like other orchestrators do, but it's not our main, main purpose. And also an API orchestration. Imagine that the API is very important using uh, Hyperledger Fabric because it's, the, it's when the, the Hyperledger Fabric is client is going to connect with your, with your uh, blockchain. And first of all, uh, we, we provide uh, a data mapping uh, screens, uh, some screens so you can uh, develop a new architecture IO asset in, in, in a web uh, interface. So we make it easier for you to create an, a new assets in a, in a format of templates. A template is a set of assets that you can have. For example, define if, he's, if, your, if your asset has one primary key or composite key. Uh, each key you can def define them and choose, for an example, the, the data type of your, of your property. If it's a string, it's a n number, if it's Boolean, if it's, uh, it's a reference to other assets. That's something very important. I'm not going to detail it right now. Uh, and just a quick review about the chain, uh, about the development stage that we are going to use. GoLedger does have his proper, his own library. And for, for you to want to know a little bit more about our library, it's called GoLedger CC Tools. I'm going to provide another uh, presentation uh, for at 30, if you want to, to, to watch. Uh, it's gonna be more detailed how the library, uh, Chenko library can uh, integrate with GoFabric. And after you develop your library, you, you at your own uh, VM, you will develop your own uh, chain code. And after that, uh, you test in your own machine. And after that, you'll be able to do uh, your cloud deployments. For example, here I have some, 
some, some VMs in a, an HWS. You can do, it's cloud agnostic. You can do whatever you want. You just go in the screen and, and choose. Uh, and, and GoFabric is going to point to your VMs and, and install all the, all the images, all the interfaces, all the artifacts necessary for Hyperledger Fabric to work, and also the chain codes and so on. And it's also multi-channel. Yeah, if you have several channels, you, you want to, to understand, uh, to, ma to make it happen with, the, the, with several channels and, and the peers that's going to join each channel and stuff like that. It's re really easy for you. Sometimes it's codeless. Sometimes you do not need to, to, to make any code for us, especially if you use some of our chain code that GoLedger provides you as a, as a marketplace. But you can have your own marketplace after, afterwards. And, after, and also, you can upload your code as source code if you want, so in the, especially in the, in the validation stage. And also like that, after, before you deploy your 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 network you can choose some of the permissions of your asset for example if you want one asset to only be modified one property of one asset only to be modified by certain msps so you can define here so i can say here oh, only this as msp will be able to write to create to update this property and uh, so we will release a chain code that will only allow certain MSPs to work with these certain properties and also uh, private data. If you want these assets to be transformed in a proper PDC, a proper private data collection, you can, you can do that straight, straight in the web interface as easy as, as I'm showing to you. Some other features, for example, you can say which VM is going to uh, upload, is going to be, to be deployed with, uh, with a uh, REST API, and also endorsing policies and other, another, another setup as well. And after the, the, the network is deployed, you can see everything in your dashboard, all the, and you can also connect, you can go connect, connect the directory to, the, to, the, to the, the APIs and so on, and see how, the, how is everything working. And after everything's working, of course, you need to modify your network. For example, upgrade your chain code. You can do this directly in this in other screen. And also, if you want to add new peers, add new order and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go from development stage. I imagine that I want to develop here. I have several functions for Hyperledger, for GoLedger, uh, CC Tools library. For example, I have unit testing. Uh, that I'm going to show in another presentation. And we also provide this artifact right here that we call GoInitus. It's, it's basically a web application that connects to the APIs that uses a, a GoLedger 62 library. And then it shows, it shows uh, you can connect, you can call several transactions, you can call the transactions that are available uh, for GoLedger CC tools, your customized transactions that you have built, you can test it all using this, this web application right here. And after that, you can go to validation stage. So you will deploy the source code and you connect to your probably a, a validation network that you have uh, uh, near you in your own cloud. And at the end, you go to production network that you're going to deploy. And you can see we also uh, uh, provide already a Prometheus for Afrana ready for you to, to monitor and to audit all the, all the information that you might have in your, in, your, uh, in your blockchain. So this demonstration, let me see the time. I, I actually have five minutes. So let's do it. Uh, we're going to make a demonstration. This network is already ready for us to, to check. It's going to be a two-channel uh, uh, two network. Five organizations, uh, both this both on State Department and Social Security Administration, is going to be an ID channel that have only one chain code that basically do some kind of statistics between uh, several assets that are available among these, these organizations. And this one run is basically for saving and registering digital documents. So I, I, this REST API is special because it's connected to a, a file server. So it uh, uploads files to a bucket S3 that's are available. And it says uh, three organizations. This, this organization right here, the International Student ID Institute, is basically part of the both, both channels. 
if you want to see a little bit more, uh, more detail of it, we, our, we have uh, this demonstration provided in our YouTube channel. I suggest you do. It's four. There are four uh, videos. And that's it. Let's go to the demonstration. I have, I have five minutes. Let's see how we do. But basically, we are here. We have the, uh, the, the dashboard of GoFabric right now. The, let's see the, for an example, we are here at the search channel and right now I have these three, uh, these three orgs and let's go to the, 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 the search channel and let's connect, for an example, here I, I can click, at, uh, I can see the, the, the APIs that are available, let's see just the APIs I can see here is already deployed me a Swagger, so I can test everything I can. For example, call, let's call this, this operation here, get schema, where I can see all the assets there are available. For example, if my legacy systems are connected to this, to this, uh, to this blockchain, I can see that it has uh, several, uh, several uh, assets. For, uh, I can see the description of them and stuff like that. But let's use the Go Nitus, as I said you. There's a web applications that we do provide. Let's uh, check GoInitos right here. And with GoInitos, we, we can test everything. We can see how the, we can, we can see the, the, uh, all the assets that are available. But let's go back. I think it's better to go back and go to the identification channel. And let's check. Let's open all, all three. Uh, web applications. Each one of them is connected to one organization, and this this chain code here basically does does lots of stuff, especially for identification. He has, uh, for example, fingerprint uh, device uh, uh, identification uh, for algorithms for identification for live scans using, using fingerprint. But here we are just going to check that we are. Ha I have already set it up uh, some information here about one person that has this passport as the primary key for three organizations. We have, for example, uh, the uh, one organization is the passport, the other is social security, and the other one is a student card, let's say like this. But both of them are, in difficult, are being registered in world by different organizations, and I want to check uh, all the uh, all the, the, the similarities between them. Let's watch, for an example, I have the same students that being enrolled uh, in, in, in several, uh, first of all, uh, uh, at, the, at the students, the social administration, and they, they, sometimes they have the same name, but this one right here have, uh, for an example, uh, here you have Joe McLean in one organization, the, the other two have, uh, uh, is being registered with John Wayne. What happens here? This chain code here is really simple, basically do some kind of statistics and, and provides you uh, what we can say. Let's see, we have, here we have the set of transactions that are available. Let's say ideal asset right here. So let's go here and, and check it out. This, this uh, uh, web application here, click and curve uh, uh, before. Uh, show how your legacy systems should work to connect and to see uh, 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 and to call this transaction. So I'm going to call, call this transaction right, right here, right now. And basically, it gives me the, probably, we call the ideal asset. What is probably the asset that's going to be available, uh, going to be the, 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 the most normal uh, among all these registering, if they are registering online, it's going to give me this, this information. So, okay, this is the first channel. Let's go back to the second channel. Uh, I, I, we have a developer, uh, just for testing, just for showing for you, uh, 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 a web application that's, that's going to connect to both channels. And I'm going to upload a certificate for a person, check its name, and after that, register and trace this, these digital documents that's going to be used, for example, right here. So this one, I'm going, this is a PDF for John Wayne. Uh, it's his certificates for, for, from some course. And let me choose his course right now. This is basically information that we provide from the, from the blockchain. I'm going to say he, he has just 
uh, he has just uh, uh, issued his certificates and that's it. And right now, okay, the structure is same well. But right now, here, I'm going to connect to the other channel so I can check for this uh, primary key right here, which, uh, which is probably uh, his information. Somebody give me the, the information. Let me say, uh, now I know probably his name is John Wayne. So I'm going to write that uh, John Wayne right here. So he give me the information. And right now I'm going to use the REST API for the second channel, the, uh, the certificate channel. And I'm going to upload this certificate and okay and right now what did he do he just saved it. Uh, the certificate inside let, let's check the the bucket at three right here that was it's uh, uploaded the certificate to the to the my file server and after that he just registered uh, this one uh, the let's go to the to the to the search the search channel we're here, we're here. We're, we're, no we, we are we are at the identification one just go to the the, no, the search channel with the ucla let's go to ucla okay search channel ucla okay all right so at ucla we can see some information about the document hash that i have just uploaded this is the hash of the file this is information, for example, if I click at the URL, I can see where it was registered. And that's something, that's, that's it, that's it. We're really out of time, yeah. Yeah, sorry for that. And basically, uh, sorry, it was really, was really in a hush, but I want you to show the way we work, how we develop stuff, how we develop our hyperledger fabric artifacts using this platform sometimes there's uh, is no it's a no code sometimes it's low code but if you're willing to know a little bit more please talk to us thank you so much i think if, if you do you have time for any questions one question if you have any uh, any question All right, thank you so much.